but you know Davis is a heck of a player, and you know you don't want him to leave, but um, you know he's wanting to leave, and but uh, there's nothing you can do there, but you just gotta um, do the best you can and move forward. And speaking of that, I mean, you, Bill Ray, when you say you know play him or sit him, is he still getting paid? Oh yeah, he's still getting paid. Oh, well, he finna play then. He, finna, he may not play as much, but yeah, buddy, you getting paid, you finna play. But if he gets hurt, then that's just wasted money you got to give him. No, he ain't playing that much. Yeah, mm -hmm. you gonna at least step on that court, <laughs> that ball, take a shot. You're not gonna just sit on that bench just because you fixed to be a out here now. But I'm paying you. You getting the paycheck? You finna play. Absolutely. Well, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back with our grievances, our shoutouts for the week. I always love that time. But uh, thanks to uh, National Tag Centers of Southeast Mississippi, Tony Ducker Insurance of Pedal, and Flickus Tax Service in Taylorsville. We'll be right back. Thank you all for listening. Great stuff. I think we have better. Now. All right, we're going to talk about our grievances and our shout-outs. Kinsley, as always, take it. Okay, one of my grievances is, and I I came up with this last night as I was watching looking at the um, social media video, but I saw where at a school in, I believe it was Louisiana, where school security guard attacked a special needs child. And I say attacked, I'm talking about like this from the video that's on there. You can go on there and look at it if you want to. I'm pretty sure it's still there, probably going super viral now. The kid was in there trying to use the phone. The security guard was beside him and waited till the kid got off the phone, grabbed the kid, slung him around a couple of times, and then body slammed him. And then you have the, the office workers in there just, just watching it. Now, I mean, that burns me up. Now, the, now, the headline was, you know, Black kid got her. I, I don't. I ain't looking at the race though. That that stuff don't matter to me. But the fact that a, the security guard just picks this kid up when he gets off the phone and just body slams. I'm like, what? Kind yeah, of that's stuff uncalled is that? for. That no matter what race, creed, or color, that you shouldn't do something like that. That's that's terrible. And you wonder why kids don't feel safe at school. Of course, you have you have the interesting kids. You guys know where I'm going. But I mean, the kids that don't bother nobody. And you know they they're pretty quiet. You know they and, you know sometimes they're the scared kids. And they and they look at these security guards yeah. for protection. But I mean, and they do stuff like that. Yeah. That's uncalled for. Uh, but my shout out for the week is I'm going to give my shout out to uh, Coach Hobson, and I'm going to tell you why. 
after they did this interview and Dr. Bennett, you know, did what he did, and Coach Hobson made a statement saying that he didn't agree with that decision. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure if everybody, you know, read the letter, but, you know, Coach Hobson, I mean, he's a, he's a Christian man from, from, from what I know and, you know, how he conducts himself and things like that. But, you know, he just, you know, he talked about giving people a second chance. I mean, okay, the guy, he, he was involved in, in, in something like that. He didn't do it. He was involved in it. But he's done his time. And, you know, you know, God gives people more than second chances, so many more than Absolutely. second chances. And, you know, he just saying, he, you know, he said that he just didn't agree with uh, with Dr. Bennett's decision. I mean, I I hold him in high esteem for that because most people are not going to just come out and say that they disagree with a decision. But for him to come out and have the boldness to do that, I got to say, I got respect for him because to me, that, that wasn't right. Coach, moving on to you, buddy. <clears throat> Uh, parents coaching players from the stand. Oh yeah, preach! <laughs> Come on, I, I uh, last high school I coached at, we were in in Southwest High School, Missouri. We were twenty four and four. Uh, finished top ten in the state of Missouri in girls basketball. Um, but I had several parents that wanted to coach their kids, <laughs> and. Uh, it's 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 a tough thing when you go out recruiting and watching watching how the parents act uh, on the referees also you know yelling at the coaches you know um, um, you know the parents have got to lay back they got to lay off uh, let let the players play let the coaches coach all right Billy Ray yeah Big John I got a couple of grievances uh oh first one I want to uh, one is the city of Laurel and the potholes. Amen. Down the Preach. Fifth, in the Fifth, at, <laughs> Come on, fifth Avenue area. <laughs> you know, the city of Laurel is so proud of their TV show we got yeah, going on. Home, hometown. Hometown with Ben and Aaron. And most of them streets that are littered with potholes are in the same little area that Ben and Aaron. I agree. Houses yes. Fix up. And there's people, there's people come from all over looking. Yeah. Come to see Laurel, see how what kind of city it is. It's been on TV, but I kind of think Ben and Aaron may have something to do with these potholes because all these houses they, yes. they like to fix up are in those little areas. So they're like, well, they're fixing up these houses. Literally, we were Kyle riding down the road. Tomorrow, but they got these potholes everywhere. Me and you were riding down the road the other day, and I hit a I hit a pothole, yeah. and it went to the other side of the road. <laughs> no lie. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and my other grievance is, now, I like to gamble for fun. Not really trying to make a whole lot of money on it. Well, I like to win a little bit of money, but when you get gambling advice from a buddy who takes, who says, "Take a team," they're only giving up three points. They should win, but they end up losing by thirty. Yeah, that's that's the real. Bill Martelli. Well, by the way, you do understand that what that what gambling is, right? Four man stack. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 it, you're putting yourself at a risk. That's why it's called gambling. Cause you don't know you might win, you might That's not. True. More likely a chance you ain't gonna win. But you know, well, just just stop it all in it. Well, you know, we do it for fun. You know, just hey, man, hey you got the money hey, go away like that, yeah. hey. But <laughs> uh, but anyway, my my grievance is this right here: the state of Mississippi. And, and its education process, the the Common Core, uh, t- trying that that they have these unrealistic goals uh, of special needs kids trying to do all these spe- spectacular things when really they need to try to learn their name, try to learn how to do complete sentences in elementary school, then they need to learn in high school how to do ordinary things. You know that they have unrealistic goals, and I, and I think it's sad that they waste all this money on crap. That, that's one of my grievances. The other one is teachers need better pay. I mean, only $1,000? $1,000 when, when, when these pharmaceutical companies, you know, they, they give all these breaks to these pharmaceutical companies, uh, you know, and it's just, uh, that's just my, my grievance. But my shout-out is to Amazon Prime. You guys are awesome. 
got a, a award here today. Yeah. Got a new camera. We're ready to go, so y'all will be able to see that on uh, YouTube and Facebook later today. But again, thanks to uh, Coach Phillips. Thanks to Billy Ray. Thanks to Kinsley Keys. Thanks to National Tax Centers. Thanks to Tony Ducker Insurance and Pedal and Flickers Tax Service. I'm Big John saying, hey, we'll see you t at 2 o'clock. And we might even go eat some chili later. Thank you all for listening. Bye-bye now. That's outstanding. I guess if you say so, I'll have to pack my things and go. That's right, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. What you say? Hit the road.